to Need for Speed Heat. This car is, I don't, it's just all over the damn place. What the frick? Straight away, you can only see big arches on the rear that don't quite fit. The thing, look, you can even tell it's not even the right body gear. The thing with these older boys on Need for Speed here, there's no extreme crazy body kits available for it. And so the CMI swaps continue to make them literally mental. And what better than the R32? So it's a little bit broken. I want to show you, even from like the, from a standstill. Let's just get it going. Watch how just a spinny it gets what the flying hell has happened to this car it's in combination with the handling mod and also the car itself i imagine has had some tweaks because why is it holding on to second and third and fourth like this i want to see what speed we can get out of it from the get-go this is stuck we're getting 200 miles an hour popping flames in fifth gear out of this car it needs it needs some help. <laughs> I'm gonna jump into the live tuning really quickly because I wanna see what is going on here. We've got the traction control all the way off. If we put it back up and the downfall's up a little bit, does this calm it down a little bit? Let's see. I... There you go. We fixed it. That was really, really odd. But now it's just super, super understeery. I can't get it to bloody turn. We've reset it back to how it was. But of course, you are here to see what the rice man is going to do to this beautiful, beautiful car. Now, am I going to ruin it? Oh my God, maybe. <laughs> now I'm taking it back. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to keep the standard GTR R32 look. Just because I, I, it deserves it. It deserves its own unique look. Though it is very tempting for me to swap an R34 style look to it in any chance that I get. But I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it nice. I'm going to keep it styled like the R32. And of course, we need to see those wide fenders. Where are they? Maybe they're on the... I don't even... I should probably have read the mod description. But there are clearly rear arches on the car already that are really good. One of the bad things about this car as well in the base game is the wings and it has been fixed with a big saucy minty sponge cake of a wing. So what the hell am I... Anyway, that rear bumper does literally nothing. The diffuser, we can go for a nice fitting, really just aggressive looking one there. And of course, we have nice exhaust options as well. This makes the car squat, so I'm going to go with that exhaust right there. And I'm going to guess wing mirrors are going to play a role in this. Interesting. Interesting! The fenders are part of the wing mirrors. Of course they are. Why not? And then the light customization, is that actually going to do the light? I was confused there for a second. <laughs> so we actually have uh, no wing mirrors whatsoever. Windows. I mean, that's obviously going to do the window. On this mod, everything looks as it should in terms of window tint, so I almost don't want to change those. Uh, anyway, the rear lights, I do like the standard style. I don't want to change it for the clear ones. Nothing else changes, so we're going to keep it like that. And here she is, all ready to go. I think it looks pretty spicy, if you ask me. I really hope that in the next Need for Speed game, they add like an R32 or something. I... I the R32 has a special place in my heart. It's the one that people don't love, but I don't know why. But clearly something is wrong with this car, and that is the fitment in its horrible. And so I'm going to fix it. Now, I was a little bit annoyed that the, the rear wheels, obviously, the, the fenders don't quite finish. But I think that's going to look super spicy when we do the new camber mod. So let's jump in and do just that. This is actually the max height, by the way. What the flying hell? That's too low. I need to put it back up. Okay, let's add a little bit of track width. And as you can see straight away, the mod allows us to... Oh, look at that. That looks incredible. And the track width on the rear, hopefully just as good. If not, a little bit better. Because that means on the back, we can have a nice, cheeky bit of camber. Oh, yeah. That looks wrong. <laughs> this is pretty weird. It's already 339 and it has sports parts in it. What have they done to this car? Oh my god. This is going to be a menacing machine. All right, if we swap the engine, is that going to ruin it? It is. So that means we've got to keep the standard RB in there. No 4G. No, absolutely not. 
Uh, we need to go and put the ultimate plus parts in here. I think I actually need to take some parts off of another car still. But 376 from the get-go. I mean, from the get-go. We have... Oh, if we take the turbo off, it's worse. That... That is interesting. Is that spooly, boy? Next level, power shot stage five. I'll take that. So we've got to keep the standard the standard turbo on. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we're now max. And we've not even done the clutch. And we've not even done the gearbox, which we need seven gears because we're already it's already a bit of an issue. And we haven't even done the differential. Um, that one. And ah, yes, a good trait in need for speed. <laughs> it breaks the damn suspension. God damn it. <laughs> when you put the... I fixed it. There you go. So something about this handling mod is that it basically removes the speed limit. Well, a speed limit. It's still got a... Uh, it removes the speed limit the ghost put into the game. Let's see what we get when we power this thing. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap. What the flying hell? I thought it wasn't... I thought it was good. I thought it was stopping, but then it went 60 miles an hour faster. We need more space. What the? F if my downfall's low, it is. That means we get the top speed. Holy crap! What is going on? <laughs> Why does it keep going? I need more space. What is this car? What is wrong with it? Why is it just? It doesn't know what to do. It just. Oh my god. We need it. We need to go somewhere. Oh! We need to go somewhere that's super long and gives us a proper top speed reader because there's no way that there's enough place space in this city. You don't mind me just uh, blitzing around the world in my R32. Absolutely broken. What the? F <laughs> Why is it so broken? 271! Woo! That was actually really sick. So I don't even know where we could go. We, that's, we need a space to test top speed of cars in the next game. There's not a proper space for top speed other than this stupid highway that really doesn't have that much, that much space for us to test it. What is this car? Why is it so broken? I just wanted a bloody rocket bunny kit on my skyline. I don't know about you, but that's that's what I want. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Why is it still climbing so slowly? Why are you flopping? What is even the horsepower of this car? I genuinely don't even know. I don't think I don't think the numbers will actually tell us what the proper horsepower of this car is. This is a pretty good run. You are not. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 277. You saw that right. That might be the best place for testing top speed. I think I think I've had a new better place. People are like, oh, don't go to the the, the railroad. No. Because it ain't straight. This is pretty straight. It's just got stupid traffic in the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! 276! Wah! 276! 276! Oh! oh my goodness! Yeah, that's definitely the fastest car that we've driven so far. Wow. What the hell did they do? They br Why is my... Did you see... What is happening to my fender? <laughs> what the... F what the... <laughs> oh, that looks horrendous. Oh, God. I didn't see I didn't see the barrier to be honest. So in the base game, the R32, I actually think it overall is a better car than the 34, for a few reasons other than looks. Ah, yeah, I said it. You are fight me, fight me in the, in the comments. I, I just, I, I just like my R34. <laughs> but anyway, ultimately, I think this mod shows that these cars need some more love. They've not had anything new to them since 2015. And it would be super nice if we could get just wings and stuff that fit on the other cars onto these cars. For example, the 180SX wing. Just swap the parts between the bloody car. Make a fake body kit, a white body kit for this boy. I don't care. Give us, give us the proper business. You know, that's all I'm asking for. This thing is not good to drive. Uh, maybe it's my handling mod in conjunction with this. Oh, and I even also mentioned that the tuner style dial. 
you can also check that out in the same Discord. It's the Unite Discord. You know you want to be there. You know you want to be square. Of course, you have to be on PC. But anyway, that's it, my friends. My skyline's about to... Go into that water. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new. And uh, there's a... Uh, there's some weird CMIs that I'm kind of tempted to do, but I'm not sure how we'll do. All right, until next time. Peace.